So we are in the midst of a current pandemic. I'm telling you this just in case you didn't know. And unless you're the owner of a toilet roll factory or you run a corner shop, I suppose everyone else out there is feeling the strain a little bit. So I recently had a former student approach me the other day and we started to get into this discussion and being an economics tutor and all, I thought, damn right, this is right up my street. Even though it's not really. No, seriously, I did spend an entire evening compiling the list of things that you could potentially look into and maybe it might just point you in the right direction. So as you're aware, things are not quite normal out there. And that's why I tried adapting this list to accommodate for the conditions out there. And with a little bit of creativity and some effort, I honestly believe virtually all of you could find something on this list to give a go. So a quick disclaimer, this video is not a quick get rich scheme, nor is it a video that's going to give you investment tips in, ter in terms of how you should be investing in Amazon stocks or Bitcoin, which you could obviously readily do so, but I'm not gonna take liability for that. But I am dropping a video within the next few days about the mindset that young people can adopt into becoming millionaires of the future. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel to get notified of that. And as soon as that drops, you will then get updated. Peace. These are some tips for you to use with your current skill set in acquiring a little something something on the side or putting some butter in your bread or lining up your pockets with some peas. Okay, so look, I'm terrible at this, so I'm going to just stop. The first thing to make my list, which is kind of hard right now, is a translator or a transcriber. These guys are in demand all year round, but with the current pandemic, there is a ton of work that needs translating and transcribing into text. For obvious reasons, which I will not explain, but as a translator, you will need to be proficient in at least two languages. Actually, the more languages you know, the merrier. As part of the role, you will also need to be a good communicator and be able to interpret text or speech and be able to translate proficiently. For those of you that aren't aware, a transcriber is someone who converts speech and recordings into text documents. This usually tends to happen with law and medical documents that require transcribing. And at the moment, the demand is quite high in that field. So now is not a bad time to start looking into this. And of course, you will need to be a good listener and someone who can pay attention to detail. Both roles are extremely flexible and can allow you to build your own experience. And as you get better, it will also improve your pay packet. Now you can go to websites like Fiverr, E4S UK and find these roles. I've even put the links down below so you can check them out in your own time. Now the next thing to make the list is a delivery driver. I know restaurants are starting to open up across the UK. However, this pandemic has changed our social behavior. And although people can start going out for their meals, this new way of life is becoming much more normalized. People will be getting more and more of their food delivered. So if you have a basic driving license, and access to a car, moped, or even a bicycle. This could be a great way to make a little bit of income and apps like Uber Eats, Deliveroo, Just Eat are really thriving during this time. And the best thing about it is that you can work flexibly and at your own convenience. Okay, so I have to admit, this is something that even someone like myself would really appreciate. I really don't always have the time to stay ahead with social media. So if any of you are spending way too much time on the gram or TikTok, then this could be something right up your alley. Right now, there are no jobs labeled as a TikTok manager, simply because the market is lagging behind these innovations. But don't be surprised in the future if you come across such an ad. So you could potentially become an expert in this niche before the market even explodes. And I'm sure you know what expert translates to, right? Here's a tip. If you're starting off as a newbie on this, you could get off the mark by reaching out to potential clients and offering them your services for free. For free? You think I'm a charity, I mean? Wait, 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 hear me out. There is a logic behind the madness here. By you doing something for free and proving that you can do what you say, it will build up the trust between you and the client and thereby allowing you to charge for the ongoing services that you can offer. 
Think of it like a taster. What you can do is build up a portfolio from there and start charging more premium prices. With more and more things going online, this is the right time if you have any designing or coding experience. And if you don't, then there are a ton of courses online for you to pick up on, and it's not as difficult as you think it may be. Individuals, startups, and even medium-sized businesses are seeking people with a flair for design to create things for them ranging from websites, email marketing, logo designs, and packaging designs, etc. The beauty of it all is that you can work right from your laptop and there is absolutely nothing stopping you from being able to work with people from all over the world. Again, I recommend websites like Fiverr, we work remotely, people per hour, etc. Again, links are down below, so do feel free to go and check those out. My last and final role is that of a virtual assistant. Now, this is going to become a lot more popular since more and more people are going to be working from home. And if you're a student with good organization skills, good telephone mannerisms, and you're trustworthy, then you could earn a good, healthy income from this. From completing Excel sheets to booking appointments and calendars, to answering phone calls and responding to emails, etc., etc. The list goes on and on. This could also be a fantastic opportunity to gain some credible work experience. I know there are some uni students seeking placements this year. This could be one way of acquiring skill sets that can add some depth to your resume. You can go onto a site like Upwork and start your profile from there. I hope that this now gives you some ideas of pursuing some remote work in the current economic climate. Let me know what you think of the suggestions. In fact, do, do you have any other suggestions? If so, then leave them in the comment section down below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also do share this with someone that you feel will find this to be of some use. My name is Amin and I will catch up with you another time. You're a pretty little star boy.